Hey, what's up everybody? Dave from uh, Alien Reptiles. Um, I'm gonna do the second video for us. Uh, got a couple tubs in here. Need to get spot clean and cleaned out. So I'm gonna show you how we can do that here. Kind of extensive. I'm gonna try to make it shorter than the last video. The last video was test run. We'll see what we can get done with this one. Um, try to keep about five, six minutes. Um, all right, let's do it. All right, so here we have our banana pie girl. She made a little bit of a mess, so I got a holding tub over here in the bottom of the rack. I'm gonna throw her in there real quick. Take out of her stuff, water bowl. Got a little bucket in here to empty that so I don't have to make a bunch of trips. Take out her paper towels. Um, we like to use chlorohexidine. Take the tub, spray it out real good. I'll let that soak for a second. Water bowl, same thing. Give that guy a second to go. We have her hide. Some of our snakes like to hide, some of the other snakes don't care. All right, guys, soaking. Pick towels. Give it a good old wipe out. Like we said in the last video, some people are gonna be wondering why we go through so much just to clean a tub out, but usually we like to do it when they shed or whatever, but we actually swap from cocoa back to paper towels. Um, got no problem with the cocoa. The cocoa was fine, humidity level stayed good. Um, Mass the smell really, really well, but it's the ease of the paper towels for us. Anybody uses whatever, newspaper, cocoa, that's cool. I'm not saying one's better than the other. We just like the paper towels here. Makes, makes it very easy to clean, easy to spot something wrong. Sometimes with that cocoa, it would get, the poop would get buried. You wouldn't see it. Start wondering why they're not pooping. And then when you empty it, you find a whole bunch and you're like, man, I should have cleaned that a while ago. But, paper towels, can't miss it. All right, so we got the tub cleaned out with the chlorohexidine. Another step we take here, a lot of people use um, Preventamite. Um, never used it. Everybody says it's awesome. We use uh, Nix distilled water, uh, make a solution out of that. Um, you get the... Uh, the NYX, we get it from Walgreens. It's got, it got two gel um, lotion type stuff in it. We get a, a gallon distilled water jug. We mix it up in there. It takes a little bit to mix it. Uh, we've had absolutely no problems with this. It's worked very well. Um, I'll give that a spray down. Let that sit for a minute. Do the same thing on the hide. If they have a hide, if not, obviously we don't worry about it. We just get the tub. Another step we like to take, another paper towel, chlorohexidine. We go over to her, where her tub was at and we get the floor and we get the top. And essentially it is part of their enclosure. We get all the way back. Make sure that's good and clean. We actually have a couple tubs to do, but I'm not only going to bore you with one. Uh, wipe out or hide one more time. During this process now, the Nick solution has had a chance to evaporate some of the smell, air out a little bit, kind of soak in. Now with that, we don't wipe it completely dry. We do it, do a good wipe down, get most of it out. 
We'll let it try to keep some kind of a residue on it. Not much, not, 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 a, not nasty, but we'll get all of this out of here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Not sure if it's gonna pick up on here, but you can see there's a little bit left in there maybe. Try to get some of that light on there so you can see it. There you go. Just like that, put a paper towels down. For these side stems, we do uh, three, three pieces of paper towel. And then we do another one on top of that. Put the hide back in, water dish back in, and out over here. Get this guy going. Water, definitely a must. Get that guy in there. And then we get our uh, ball pipe on back out. And guys, quick shot of her again. This is her. This is the one I was talking about in the last video that's tripled in size. She has gotten big really fast. Never really misses a meal. Sometimes she'll go two weeks. Not really interested. Um, for the most part, it's once every seven to ten days or so she'll eat. And she has no problem. None. Hopefully, hopefully she gets a little bit more weight on her. Maybe late season, like I was talking about. Uh, but we don't want to rush it. If she ain't ready, she ain't ready. Um, that's what we do every time, whether it's shed, poop. You know, they, they pee a lot, and then the whole thing gets covered. We, uh, we take it out and clean it like that every single time. Every tub, doesn't matter. Same thing with the rats. Um, when they, I actually cleaned them like two days ago all the tubs out so next time we do that i'll do a video on that too uh please let me let me know what you guys want to see show you a little bit more of the collection we have here the pastel and banana still locked up from yesterday they're going on 28 hours or so locked up it's pretty pretty crazy um all right guys uh thanks for watching dave again uh alien reptiles you can follow us on instagram at alien underscore reptiles and uh, same thing on Facebook. And if you don't mind, subscribe and uh, like. All right, man. You guys take it easy.